Green hydrogen is entering a new phase where the biggest breakthroughs aren't always flashy new materials, futuristic catalysts, or record-setting efficiencies. Instead, one of the most transformative changes happening right now is much more practical. The rise of large modular electrolyzer systems that allow developers to scale hydrogen production quickly, cheaply, and reliably. This shift matters because it moves hydrogen from a slow, engineering-heavy industry toward a modular, factory-built model where capacity can be added like building blocks. And the most compelling example of this frontier is unfolding in Europe, where Plug Power has delivered its first 10-megawatt modular electrolyzer for Galp's Science Refinery in Portugal, a single module that forms part of a massive 100-megawatt green hydrogen project. This delivery is not just about a single system. It signals a turning point in how hydrogen infrastructure is built and how fast the industry can scale. To understand why modular electrolyzer systems at industrial scale are so important, it helps to revisit the traditional way hydrogen plants were built. For decades, producing green hydrogen required constructing a custom electrolyzer hall, designing an enormous balance of plant system, integrating power electronics from scratch, creating specialized water treatment systems, and commissioning all of this through long and expensive engineering cycles. Projects took years. Costs were unpredictable. And because every plant was essentially a bespoke design, developers had to deal with a huge amount of technical risk. If one thing went wrong, the entire schedule slipped. If a contractor underperformed, the whole project slowed down. Hydrogen infrastructure was stuck in a pre-modular era similar to how early solar projects used to be custom-built for each site before standard solar panels became a global commodity. Modular electrolyzer systems represent the same kind of shift that transformed solar. Instead of designing everything from scratch, manufacturers now build standardized hydrogen production units in factories, test them under controlled conditions, certify their performance, and ship them to customers in ready-to-install formats. These modules can be 10 megawatts each, like the one plug power shipped to Galp, or 20 or 30 megawatts depending on the manufacturer. Once they arrive at a project site, they require far less engineering work because the core components are already integrated. Electrolyzer stacks, power equipment, thermal management, water systems, control electronics, and safety systems. Developers can place these modules on a concrete pad, connect them to electricity, water, and hydrogen piping, and begin commissioning much faster than they could with custom-built plants. The plug power delivery to Galp's Signs Refinery demonstrates why this approach is game-changing. The module itself is a fully engineered PM electrolyzer package designed to operate in a large green hydrogen ecosystem powered by renewable sources. What makes this project important is that GALP is not building a single massive electrolyzer all at once. Instead, the refinery is using a modular approach to reach a total capacity of 100 megawatts by deploying multiple 10 megawatt building blocks. This improves cash flow timing, reduces project risk, and allows operators to begin generating hydrogen and gaining operational experience long before the full facility is completed. It also supports phased financing since investors can back incremental deployments instead of a single massive expenditure. What these modules represent is more than convenience. They are the industrialization of hydrogen. A factory-built unit has consistent quality, predictable performance, and repeatable costs. That repeatability is crucial for economic modeling. When developers know the exact specifications, efficiency, and output of each module, they can design projects with confidence. It also makes it easier to secure financing because lenders prefer standardized assets with lower technical uncertainty. A project composed of 10 identical 10 megawatt units is inherently less risky than a project that relies on one giant, first-of-its-kind system. The benefits extend further when you consider long-term scalability. In many traditional hydrogen projects, Developers would need to commit upfront to the full plant capacity, say 100 megawatts, even if hydrogen demand or renewable power supply was uncertain. With modular electrolyzers, developers can take a stepwise approach. They might start with 10 megawatts this year, add another 20 over the next two years, and reach 100 megawatts once demand grows, 
or additional renewable power comes online. This is especially attractive for industrial sites transitioning from fossil-based hydrogen to green hydrogen, where full replacement may take time, but early action is still needed. Another major advantage is deployment speed. Traditional electrolyzer plants could take three to five years from planning to production, but modular systems can compress that timeline dramatically. Because modules arrive pre-assembled, civil works are minimal. Because the power and water systems are integrated into the package, commissioning requires far fewer engineering hours. This speed is crucial in markets racing to meet climate targets, secure EU funding, or launch early hydrogen hubs. The faster you can deploy green hydrogen capacity, the faster you can begin supplying mobility hubs, steel plants, refineries, fertilizer producers, and fuel cell fleets. This revolution is not limited to Europe. In the United States, modularization is driving new projects in states like New York, California, and Texas, where developers are pairing modular electrolyzer units with solar or wind farms to create decentralized hydrogen systems at industrial parks, logistics hubs, and ports. In the Middle East, modular electrolyzers are being used for pilot-scale deployments, while larger export-oriented ammonia mega-projects are still in planning. In Australia, modular hydrogen systems are helping remote mines and communities experiment with hydrogen fuels without constructing full-scale plants. And across Asia, particularly in South Korea and Japan, modular units are being installed within urban hydrogen hubs designed to support hydrogen buses, taxis, and forklifts. When we talk about modular electrolyzers at scale, we're not just describing a technical shift. We're describing the emergence of an entirely new hydrogen development model. This modular approach democratizes hydrogen production because it lowers the barrier to entry. You no longer need billions of dollars to start. You can deploy a small module, get early offtake agreements, gather operational data, and then expand your system as your market develops. This opens the door for smaller companies, municipalities, and mid-sized industrial players to participate in hydrogen production. It also makes hydrogen development more resilient because projects can grow and adapt without committing to irreversible mega-project scale from the start. Moreover, modular electrolyzers enable new types of hydrogen markets. Mid-scale hydrogen hubs, such as regional transport clusters, port refueling stations, fertilizer facilities, and industrial parks can be served directly by modular units. This makes hydrogen more local and less dependent on complex pipelines or trucking networks. It also creates redundancy. If one module requires maintenance, the other modules can continue operating. This is a huge reliability advantage over monolithic electrolyzer systems, where a single failure can bring an entire facility offline. One of the biggest reasons modular electrolyzers are scaling so quickly is the maturity of the supporting supply chain. Manufacturers have invested heavily in gigafactories capable of producing electrolyzer stacks, membranes, and system components at volume. The quality control improvements that come from mass production directly translate into safer, more reliable modular units. With each production cycle, learning curves bring down the cost, much like what happened with wind turbines and solar panels. It's important to recognize that modularity isn't just a technical design choice. It represents a mindset shift for the entire hydrogen industry. Instead of viewing hydrogen plants as giant, immovable investments that must be perfect from day one, developers are beginning to see hydrogen as a scalable, flexible energy asset that can evolve over time. This shift mirrors the way data centers grew, not as one enormous building, but as clusters of modular units that expanded as demand increased. The plug power delivery to the Sines refinery is a symbol of this shift, but it is only the beginning. Over the next decade, we will see hundreds of modular hydrogen deployments around the world. These systems will power trains in Europe, replace diesel generators in mining operations, fuel hydrogen trucks at logistics hubs, provide industrial feedstock for chemical plants, and supply green hydrogen for steel and fertilizer production. And because the modules are standardized, the cost of installation, maintenance, and integration will continue to drop. Modular electrolyzers represent the fastest path to scaling green hydrogen today. While futuristic technologies like artificial photosynthesis and solar-to-hydrogen panels continue to evolve, 
Modular electrolyzers are available now, deployable now, and scalable now. They are the bridge between the current state of the hydrogen economy and the fully decarbonized future we're working toward. As nations compete for leadership in the hydrogen transition, the players who master modular deployment will move the fastest. And for developers looking to enter this space, understanding modular electrolyzer economics, integration, and scaling strategy isn't just helpful. It's essential 